All right, guys, so the next tutorial, I'm going to use the image of this child. We're going to go to the Develop module, and I'm going to teach you guys now the next tool in our toolbar, which is the Spot Removal tool. And uh, the Spot Removal tool is great for a bunch of things, and probably the most obvious and basic is removing actual spots or dust uh, due to, like, your sensor being dirty. Like, maybe you shoot a picture, and there's images in the sky or in bright areas of the image that show, like, little dust particles. Well, the Spot Removal tool is perfect for removing those dust particles. It's very quick and easy to use. But it can also be removed, uh, used to remove like little bits of trash like we see here in this image. So we can kind of use it to clean up the background. We can also use it to clean up skin, uh, any dirt or blemishes that we have on the skin that are kind of small and simple to fix. So let's go over how to do that now. Now to get to my spot removal tool, I'm going to actually hit Q, or I can click on the spot removal tool right here from the develop module, as well as access it from the tools menu right here under spot removal. Again, the easiest way to get there from any place, uh, regardless of what module you're in, is, is Q, because it'll take you there regardless if you're in slideshow, or print, or wherever. All right, so now that we've selected the spot removal tool, we have two options. We can use two different brush modes. One is clone and one is heal. Now cloning is going to basically remove whatever area uh, that we select and replace it with another area that we choose. Healing is going to replace the area that we select with another similar area and kind of guess as to what it should be. We'll show you guys kind of both versions of it. Both work very, very well, and it works very similarly to how it does in Photoshop. So first I'm going to select my clone tool, and I'm going to change my size to basically be slightly larger than the actual uh, bit of trash that I want to remove. And the first thing I want to remove is this little orange piece that I see right here. So I'm going to adjust my size down a little bit. I can do that by adjusting the size from the slider. I can use my left and right brackets, or what's typically the easiest, just using your mouse wheel and going up and down. And then I'm just going to click on the item I want to remove. And now it's going to ask me, well, what do you want to replace it with? And that's what this second circle is for. So the plus is what you want to remove. The circle is what you want to replace it with. And I'm just going to drag it to an area that basically is something that I, I want to kind of clone, which is somewhere that doesn't have any garbage. So I'm just going to move it right to here. I'm going to let go. And then I'm going to hit Q again to remove my uh, spot removal tool overlay so I don't see anything. And we see that that little bit of trash, if I hit back, uh, if I hit the uh, backslash to show the before, that little bit of trash has been removed really, really well, and it's done a really pretty much flawless job of it. Healing works very similarly to that. Um, I'm going to make my tool just a little bit larger. I'm going to click on this area right here. And now I'm going to switch my brush to heal. And you can, you can switch it before you click or after you click. It it's, does the same thing. Now if I move this to another area, let's say over here, Healing is basically going to say, okay, this is my uh, reference area. I'm going to replace whatever's in this area that's selected with this area over here. And it, it's kind of going to guess and make a, you know, a merge of those two areas. It's going to heal it out based on what it thinks it should be. So if I hit Q to remove the crop overlay, I can see that it's done a pretty dang good job of healing it out. And we can kind of adjust back and forth between cloning versus healing. Cloning is kind of typically a little bit more... Um, I won't say accurate, but it gives you a, a better idea of what the file is going to look like because you know it because you're sampling it from a different area of the image. So it's a little bit more controllable. Uh, healing typically does a good job, but keep in mind that the larger the area that you're trying to heal, more likely the worse of a job it's going to do. So typically these spot removal adjustments work best when you're dealing with small little areas. Now one thing you want to be careful of is the opacity. So if I go to any one of these and I actually adjust the opacity down from 100%, it's going to reveal more of the underlying layer. So if I'm actually trying to remove garbage and stuff like that, I really don't want it to show up anything underneath. If you, if you want it to be kind of like where you're, you're doing an overlay and you want it to be a little subtle overlay, then yeah, you might want to adjust the opacity. But for removing garbage, you typically want it to be at 100%. So we also mentioned that this tool was great for uh, kind of fixing little blemishes and little dirty spots on skin and this child is the perfect example for it. So we're going to zoom into his face by hitting the space bar and clicking on his face and then I'm going to click my uh, spot removal tool again. I'm going to adjust this size down. I want to remove this little bit of dirt. So I'm going to click here right on his face under the dirt and then I'm just going to, I'm going to try healing this time and I'm going to move basically this over to a, an area of skin that has kind of a similar color tone. So right about here is good. When I let go and if I hit Q now, it does a really flawless job of removing that uh, that dirt off his face. I'm going to do it a little bit more. So let's remove this a little bit. I'm going to shrink down my brush. Looks like he's a little bit of a messy eater, which is cool because it's great for the picture. I actually probably would not remove this in this picture if I wanted to actually develop this picture, but it's great for just showing you guys how to do this because I think it's kind of cute that he has all this dirt on his 
There's a little food on his face. All right, so I'm going to remove all these little specks from his skin. So you can see if these were actually blemishes, it would do a really good job of, of, of basically choosing those blemishes and replacing it with area around them. And probably for skin tones, when you're going on skin, it's typically better to use the healing tool versus the cloning tool because you want Lightroom basically to uh, replace that area of skin with an area of skin that has a similar color tone but not necessarily duplicate that area of skin with another area of skin because it'll, it probably is going to be noticeable. So I'm going to click here on my uh, click Q again to undo or not undo to uh, toggle that tool off so I don't have any of those overlays showing. I'm going to hit my backslash tool to just kind of show us what we've done to the image. So you can see the areas. I removed that little dirt on his face. I've also removed some of the garbage from the scene using our spot removal tool. So it's a really powerful tool, a, a great time saver from having to take every single image in Photoshop. But obviously when those, when these kind of spot removal and these cleanup jobs are bigger and you're dealing with larger objects, more complex scenes, you're going to need to go into Photoshop to make these adjustments. Alright guys, so let's go on to the next tutorial.